Three steps to help any golfer improve their rotation. Check out this swing here. I like this swing. We were moving at around 125 miles per hour of club head speed and hitting it pretty straight. There are three key factors to creating a swing like that and improving your own pattern. Number one is that when we turn back, our shoulders are gonna turn roughly twice as far as our hips. So if our hips load back 45 degrees, our shoulders are gonna go 90. Obviously, we can increase that, and the stretch, the difference between those two rotational numbers is your X factor. You'll hear a lot of people talk about the hips going first. The bigger the separation between the hips and the shoulders in transition, the more power potential. And that leads us into factor number two, and that is your transition. When we load up the body properly and the shoulders rotate further than the hips, what we are going to find is that if we're well grounded, as we are in this swing here, the lower body is going to want to turn back to the target before the upper body. That is the lag that people talk about, that's the X factor, and basically we want to see the lower body turning back to the target before the upper body. Some players will still be moving back and the hips are going to the target. That requires a high level of flexibility and rotation. We'll get you a little bit closer today. But what we really don't want to see is the shoulders working early, throwing that club over the top and making you hit a big slice. Factor number three in your rotation is making sure that you get all the way cleared through the swing and the old school talking point of getting your belt buckle to the target. We can look at it a little bit more detailed than that in that when we sequence through, we should be pushing out the ground with our lead foot. Again, you can see this is an area of weakness in my swing, but I'm working to improve it. But as we push and clear that hip, we can then rotate through to the target. And once the hips open up, the upper body can follow, the hands then release, and everything faces the target. If you're hanging back on your trail foot, if you're not quite turning through to the target, you're guiding the shot, you're not creating the true power, and that's not going to get it done. So those are your three factors and these three steps are going to help you improve on all of those so your swing has more power potential and you can build ball striking consistency. Movement number one is the seated torso rotation. You can use a club here to guide your rotation and really give you a good gauge of how far you are turning but by taking a seated position we fix the hips so here we are creating that separation by turning the torso maintaining the neutral spine and rotating around the spine whilst the hips are fixed this will help you to understand how the muscles stretch around the spine how you can turn and how you can improve your golf swing Movement two is the golf posture power rotation. This is a very technically minded drill exercise that you can do anywhere at any time to improve your pattern and rotate more effectively. Here we are looking to use the ground to start our rotation. We push out of the ground, we rotate around that position by fixing the hip, again, roughly half as far as the shoulders will turn. Once you have that position, we then continue to stretch the muscles around that fixed point our glute, our trail leg, that hip position. And then once we get into that sequence, we then work down. So we practice that squat position. That's our ground reaction force. We work back into the ground. And then as we said, that third fact that we want to fully clear to the target. So you elevate and rotate with full stretch, full loading, back to the ground and then to the target. And yes, we are going to work both sides because having a greater awareness of your weaker side, your non-playing side, is gonna help your dominant side, but also just taking your body through those movement patterns is gonna help you create synchronicity, gonna create symmetry throughout the body and help you develop as an overall athlete. Movement number three is gonna build on one. And this is the banded seated torso rotation. And this goes into muscle activations, a PNF style, and really working with external tension as we adding the band. This is an advanced element because it really is gonna help you activate the core, work the whole musculature of the back, and give you everything you need to rotate better in your golf swing. So find a suitable tension in the band. Sit a reasonable distance away so that you can create a rotational pattern. 
You should have ample tension here because as we turn, it's going to be a slow controlled movement and you're going to feel higher and higher levels of tension as the band stretches. That's where we turn to. You're going to hold briefly, come back to center, and then you're going to go a little bit further. And that is the style, the activation style that's going to help you work the musculature into that higher level of activation and range of motion. It's going to improve your rotation and it's going to activate everything throughout the core, throughout the torso, so that your rotation is better on both sides of the body. These three exercises are absolutely going to improve your rotational potential that works into your golf swing. Now, how do you improve technically? We go back to the three factors from before. Number one, we want to fully load into our trail side and then turn against it. Get that feeling of working into the ground and then open around the system. That is how you stretch, that's how you load, that's how you create an optimal backswing. In terms of that sequence, you've really got to trust your transition. Once we get to that loaded element, let the body, let the muscles return. That's what's going to allow the club to stay behind you. You squat into the ground, let the hips go last first, and then as you've been working to the ground, you push, the hips clear, the torso follows, the club stays behind you, and right now, I'm trying to feel as I just swing from behind the ball. Very simple thought. As we turn back, if we get out too early, we're ahead of it, the club's working out, you've got nowhere to go. But if we can fully turn and load and then try and hit around the ball, we keep the club behind, we get into the back of the ball, and then you can rotate and release. And then a really simple factor is to get your body fully cleared to the target. You can do that on basically every single swing, commit to that swing, make sure everything's facing the target, and allow yourself to hit those good shots. All right, every golfer can benefit from these three exercises and every golfer will 100% benefit from improving their body. So go ahead and check out everything over here at Golf Audio, our golf workout of the day. We're here to help every golfer improve their health, improve their fitness, and improve their gear. So go ahead, get yourself a seven day free trial on either of our apps and join the strongest movement in golf.